Hey guys, Molly again, playing another game of Dying Light as the zombie. Give it a crack and see how it goes. Um, Getting a little better with the uh, commentary on the videos. And I'm looking forward, hopefully, to getting a few more levels and maybe my next mutation. But as always, it's always been fun. Let's see if I get the game going. Here I go. Try to the ten people in starting zones. Doesn't work a lot of time, but sometimes it does and doesn't seem fair. Oh man, did I mess that one up? Uh, I think I got him at least with the spit. Not that I knew much without any follow up. Maybe I can get back in the game. There we go. So maybe that's my hive getting attacked. Oh hey, I got one. Cool. I'll be horde for the win. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. a lot with the UV spit. Here we go. Overshoot the spit because usually most people will almost automatically dodge backwards. It's not perfect, it's not foolproof, but it does work a lot of the time like 75% of the time. People take to the roofs. Makes life easier. Try to keep the pressure on people constantly. That's usually when they'll make their biggest mistakes. Even with fire. Probably shouldn't have went in there. Oh well. I got 
got two, three kills on him, so. I don't ever remember having a nest in that area, actually. Anytime. You would think if your nest was getting attacked, it'd spawn you a little faster. But. There seems to be humans when they're in, the, in near your nest. They're always right, like, spawning real quick. You got me. That doesn't help you with the horde, though, I don't think. Could be wrong. Oh, he got me. Seriously, where's the horde at? Ah, close. Probably not enough to kill him, though, unfortunately. I have not nailed this guy with the tackle at all. I don't know if my timing is just off or what. Oh well. Already on the next nest. Damn. Kind of fast. I find these one on one games are even harder than like the four on four games. Or a four on one game, excuse me, not four. With four on one, you tend to have a little bit of chaos into it. And with that... There we go. Oh, really? There we go. Always, if you're going to come in with a pounce, even if he has a flashlight, try to be as high as possible, because most people can't get their camera angled up quite straight up. So you can kind of cheese it, I guess. It's not really cheating, but it does help you sometimes to get those uh, pounces when you didn't think you could. Though. <laughs> gotcha. Always when they're spit, follow up with a pounce. Because most time people will actually turn and run just like he did, and you can catch them. Not all the time. I think the following, if you're doing verses in the following, it's a lot harder because you don't have all these nooks and crannies and buildings to pop off of. You're out in the open, so you gotta use your skills a little more carefully. Here comes some shooting at me again. but he's just giving me time for my timer, honestly, to come back up from my spits. It's kind of silly. He isn't going to hit me with that. But, he will hit the nest. I'll give him credit. Not a lot of people use that to attack the nest. Kind of impressive. Follow that up with the spit. Always make sure to run away when you need to. Just give them time to get nest if you don't. No 
numerous times. He's gonna take a second to heal anyways. Always try to like pop down and then do a pounce like I just did. Usually it never works, but every once in a while you get him too. Movement's the key. Not that I'm a pro, that's just my experience. There's some awesome people that are just crazy good. Like you can't hit them even if they're standing in front of you. Can I fly? Follow up a missed tackle with a ground pound. Always. Especially if you're in close quarters. And then follow that up with spit. And if you miss a tackle, good time to spit too. Just try to shoot it like behind them as they're coming. Because then if that works, he will um, more than likely probably overshoot it. Like now. There we go. Keep a uh, UV armor in, in the uh, hole too. It's almost, I mean, it's really necessary. Most people that have skill, you gotta really have one in the hole just in case to save your ass. So if he starts to aim at me again like he did before with that bow, that's the time to pop out. Pop out, hit him with spit, pop out, hit him with tackle. He's not gonna do that now though. Keep moving. That's okay. See? Followed it up. Hit it with both spits. Both spits, he's probably dead. Not that it wasn't a rough fight. You just gotta keep moving. I hope he doesn't give up. A lot of people will give up right now at this point and kill themselves. Doesn't look like it. Good sport. I don't know if he did that on purpose or he just caught him, but that's game. Main key is keep moving. I mean, I'm not Apex Predator by far, so keep learning, moving. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll do some more definitely as I'm leveling. We'll try to maybe do a campaign game tonight. So, um, hope you enjoy. 
like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.